All right, let's go to some calls. Suggestions for Matthew Guy. As I said, the best suggestions may form part of Liberal Party policy in this area at the next election. David, hello. Hello, Guy. Hello, Tom. I've rung before several times. Uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for, for this, but I'm, I'm a current serving Vic, Vic, Vic Poll member, Victoria Police member, of 27 years. I served, also served at Pentridge for seven years as a prison officer. I've seen nothing but... So I'm speaking with, with a lot of experience here, a lot of experience. I can see... I've seen nothing but a revolving door with, a, with our justice system. I've seen crooks come into, into Pentridge. I've seen crooks that I've charged over the years get bail very easily. They've got parole easily. Uh, they've done some, done some horrible, serious crimes. And, you know, they've been given lenient sentences by judges. We need to stop this stem. We need to tell them, these magistrates and judges, if they can't get it right, go and look for another job because okay. there's plenty of people out there that'll do it. All right. Well, well that's, that's an interesting point, David, because, uh, again, I, I agree with David, Mr Guy, that, you know, in my view, judges, A, live in a rather rarefied world where they don't know, you know, what ordinary people are thinking. But, B, I think they always are trained to see the essential good in people, that, that even the worst offender you know, must somehow have some good in him. And if we could just let him back out in society, he'll realise the error of his ways and be a good person. Is it time to change that sort of thinking? Well, I think we've got to a stage where community safety is under threat in so many ways that these repeat offenders, we need to start putting the rights of the victims first. OK, so what, what, the, why don't we do, why don't we do three strikes like they, like they did in New York? I mean, why don't we say, righto, or maybe two strikes like the AFL has finally agreed to with drugs. Yeah. You get one chance, OK, so you get... You make a mistake, you commit a crime, you get told, do this or any other crime again yeah. and we will throw the book at you. Yeah, well, that's what I released in part of uh, policy suggestion some weeks, two weeks ago, where we've got these juvenile offenders who are effectively, uh, when you've got 17, 16 and 17 year olds, who, frankly, Tom, they're not small. They're not, okay, they're not okay. The, they're not, but, but, but will you... Know, you they, but, should ha- they should be named and shamed. They should be out okay. uh, in an adult prison. But, but you, you, all right, but, but this is this is all. I mean, you're describing the situation. I mean, for example, will you go to a system where you have just two or three strikes, or well, one or two strikes, really? Yeah, so you get one or two yeah. chances, and then serious punishment. And by serious, I mean the maximum that that sentence gives, like ten years or something. And, in jail. And, th- and that's what I want to take suggestions on because I think that that's where the community is getting towards in saying this is what we want.